pretty much how we want it to. Well, we can edit a little bit to make it a little bit better. So in edit mode, I'm going to select the fat end. I'm going to move it a little bit closer and up a little bit. And let's see if that works. Just keep moving it until the bow bends the way you think it should. There we go. I like the look of that. First, we're going to add constraints for this bone that clamp it into place so that we can't move it up and down. We can only move it side to side and only a certain length because we don't want to be able to pull that back infinitely. That's just ridiculous. So we're going to add a constraint for that that locks it into place and lets it only move a certain distance. With the string bone selected, go into the bone constraints and add constraint limit location. Change convert world space to local space and enable minimum and maximum. Change minimum to about negative two. Let's see if that works. Minimum is how far back this way it can move. So that's about right. And change maximum to 16. Let's give that a little more play. Let's crank that up to 17. And that looks about fun. Now it can move up and down. If you want to keep that, you can. But I'm going to limit that by enabling all of those things. So that it really can only move in one direction. Perfect. So now with all of these fields enabled, and zero on the x, zero on z, and minimum and maximum of y, negative two, and seventeen. Our string bone can only move so much in one direction. And now we're going to make it so that when you pull back the string bone, this bone rotates with it. We're going to do that by adding a new bone at the top and using a limit distance constraint to keep that at the same distance from the string at all times. And then we're going to take this bone and add a constraint that makes it track that new bone. So in edit mode, if you select the top IK bone and duplicate that, keep it in the same position, deselect the fat end, and then move the skinny end out a little bit further so we can distinguish it from the top IK bone, and select the whole bone, and we're going to rename this to top underscore limit. And now this bone is still parented to this rotation bone. So we're going to clear that parent by pressing Alt and P to clear parent. And then what we want to do, since we have a couple free bones, including this one and the rotation bone, is we're going to select both of them and then select the main bone and press Control and P and select Keep Offset. That way